we're here at Pop Dust Presents with Rebecca Correa. Correa? Correa. Correa. Yeah. yeah. Correa. Or That's Correa. 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 However you want to. Yes. It's not how you're thinking it's spelled, though. So if you're Googling it right now, viewers, can you spell C-O-R-R, it? C-O-R-R. E-I-E-I-A. That's how you remember E-I-A at that the end. That was lovely. I know, right? That in itself. Yeah, you can never get it wrong now. This is impossible. <laughs> and she just performed the song for it, Looking Back. Is that right? Looking Back, yes. And it was the most heartbreakingly beautiful thing. I wasn't ready to be emotionally compromised here at my nine to five job. But here I am just like deeply feeling things that I never meant to feel. Um, vulnerable. Vulnerable. You're like remembering things. <sighs> it's like all of a sudden a trauma has come mm-hmm. back from the past mm-hmm. and you're like, why? It's like when you're in a mall I and Adele comes that. on and you're like, what do I do with myself? <laughs> like, I'm just trying to get a soft pretzel. Yes. Tell us about that song that just wrecked my day. Oh, okay. Well, that song was a song I started writing on the piano mm. um, and I got stuck. I actually mm. got emotionally stuck. Like okay. I was like, I can't write the rest of the song because it's going to be too much for me. Mm. And so I got stuck for about a year with it. And then Mm. I went to my friend, Beth Nielsen Chapman. I knew that she had like the missing piece for that song. Mm. So basically after two songwriting sessions, um, therapy sessions, really, (laughs) it was like a little bit of writing and then a lot of pulling out some emotions from me. And like, what are you really trying to say, Rebecca? And I'm like, well, there's this thing that happened in the past and I'm still hung up on it. And that's what it's about. And I think everyone can relate to that because yeah. we all have that person or persons that just keep kind of getting in the way of mm. our present or our future. And viewers, if you want to know who that person for you is, just go watch her perform the song. Because I'm not even sure I knew who that person was. And then suddenly I'm flooded with images and feelings. <laughs> like it's that kind of song. Oh um, no, you again. Right. <laughs> there you are. Like I didn't mean to think about you today, but <sighs> here it but, is. Like, lovely. So tell us about your grown up problems. Is that right? Grown up games. Grown up games. Yes. Different. Yes. Grown up games is a lyric from the first single that we put out, okay. which was Gin, mm. which is a song that my aunt my cousin Amy wrote. Um, she is a singer songwriter originally from New York City. She used to be here uh, in the '90s, rocking mm-hmm. out. And um, song is uh, just a, an adventure. You got you to listen. And to do you it. like gin? I I like gin, but I like tequila more. Mm, but right now, wine answer. is great. Right, but right now, wine and green solo cups. Yes, neon green. So where did this album then start for you? What were you trying to say, I guess? Or was that something that came later after? It came later. Like, okay. I didn't know what songs were going to be on it. Um, it started with a song called Solid Ground, mm. which um, uh, it has that crazy story to it. But I, uh, the short of the long... Well, we want to know. <laughs> yeah, you got to know. Actually, it, it kind of originates in New York City. I, I had this like crazy thing happen to me, um, this hurdle in life that I um, overcame. And when mm. I got to the other side, this song, Solid Ground, came out. Mm. And the night that I wrote it, I woke up from a dream of a ship and a woman dancing on the ship. That's a lovely dream. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. So there was a ship and there was this woman um, named Adrian that was in my video that, I mean, in my... I gave it away. My... <laughs> In my dream, <laughs> she was in my dream, and she was someone I followed on social media and gained a lot of strength from. Mm-hmm. And she happens to be um, a professional dancer, mm-hmm. and she also happens to be a Boston Marathon survivor. She lost part of her left leg oh when my the God. second bomb went off. Yeah, and so um, she dances. She was dancing before that happened, and she dances now and does a lot of motivational speaking. And she's amazing. And um, I reached out to her with the help of Kebmo and asked if she would be willing to be in my music video. You made me cry song. again. That's so beautiful. It's it so is beautiful. Lovely. So if you search Solid Ground Rebecca, you can yeah. watch the video. But that's the song that started this whole project. Um, yeah. It was just a song about to, to help people. And in the end, we did um, 50% of every download of the song give, goes to Limbs for Life mm. Foundation, which is a foundation that gives fully functional prosthetic care to people that can't afford it. So. So what a story yeah. of like perseverance and strength and like struggling yes. despite the odds. Like yeah. that's that's love. And so is that what music is for you? Is that Yes. How did you how did you get to this place where what you're spending your time doing is is giving music to the world? I found music or it found me at a young age. Mm-hmm. I, I started with piano and then yeah. fourth grade I wrote my first song, a very basic song. And then, but it was lovely though. It was so adorable. Yeah. <laughs> it really was. Fourth grade. Yeah. Like I'll play it at the next Pop Dust appearance. Yes, please. Yes. I promise. Stay tuned. Um, 
In sixth grade, I started learning guitar, and so it, m music just always like walked alongside with me through okay. life. And I, whenever I was going through good and bad things, I would use it to help me get through that. Mm -hmm. And then I started to notice that it was helping other people. Mm. And so I just took that with me and, and followed the cor course of my calling and just try to help people with my music. Yeah, this oh, is it. This yeah. is my record. This is, this is a record. CD. It's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely though. Um, That's a case. great jacket, right? You can't. Um, if you can't see it, it's like a like a studded leather jacket, and it's it's everything you could want it to be. This is it right here. So you came here from Nashville, right? Like, I mean, like, and by here, I mean like today. Like you're coming from Nashville. I took a long journey to get here. Tell me. I was in Nashville, and then I was in Atlanta, and then I was in Charlotte, and then I was in Massachusetts, and then okay. I was here. Okay. Um, but I live in Nashville, yeah. Okay. So essentially, yes. How I came do you like New York? I love New York. Really? Honestly, I gotta tell you the truth. I'm gonna Please. tell you the truth right now. Please. I think I'm a New York City artist. <sighs> but New York City artist, you heard it here first. I really, I really am. I love this, but I used to play the bitter end like yeah. all the time. And I play the cutting room. Such gorgeous, mm. beautiful rooms here in town. And just the experience of playing for people here. Yeah, and people I love that just, you can see that. Like, I yes. think that I always ask people that question. Like, so like you're here from wherever to New York. Like, how do you feel about New York and because it, it's such a polarizing town right it's amazing yeah it's amazing I wish that I I shouldn't say wish because I could just do it I, I should spend more time here yeah I try to do as much as I can but I get lost in the woods of Nashville mm. and as one then does. I forget that there's other things out there and then you grew up on a on a horse farm am I correct I did how did you know that I did my research <laughs> I don't know what you want to do like. <laughs> Does that mean, what, like horseback riding lessons? I guess, here's my question. What's a horse farm? <laughs> it's 13 acres mm. of fields and a barn, a big red barn. In Massachusetts, right? In Massachusetts, yeah. yeah a little town called Rochester. <sighs> yeah. And I um, grew up there. Mm. It's an old sea captain's house. So it's an old colonial house that it's is- romantic. I know. Capital R, romantic. Well, it is romantic until you realize that the heat really is really mm. terrible in the middle of the winter. Okay. And it's cold and, okay. you know, that sort of thing. So yeah. it gets less romantic. That's still romantic. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Well, we do have a fireplace. You have struggles for like a romance Struggles novel. galore yeah. at the farm. Did you have a favorite horse? I did. Was, was her his name? His name was Frosty. Don't Frosty. make me cry. You stop it right now. You, well, I just, anybody who spent any time around horses has a favorite, favorite Frosty horse. Frosty was the greatest. <sighs> he was the Tell greatest. Tell me three facts about him. Frosty the snow pony. Frosty the snow pony. <laughs> Guess what color he was. Was he white? He was white. Of course he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> Well, he's technically called gray in the in the horse family. That's sure. what it's called. Sure. Um, he was 14 one hands. If you're a horse person, you know what that means. Um, and he was just such a dedicated pony. He mm. taught so many people, so many children and Good adults boy. how to ride for like 20 plus years <sighs> at our farm. He was the greatest. So sweet. So sweet. Rest in peace, Frosty. Oh, God. I didn't know he was dead. <laughs> Oh man, you have to say two happy things now before okay, we end this interview. Things. Um okay, so let's see. I have a new record that just came out, which oh, is epic. That is happy. That's yes. a happy thing. So happy. And I just put out two new videos. Two new videos. What two. are they called? Check them out. Yes. What are they called? Um this is for the song Jin. Jin. So just search Jin Rebecca Korea on YouTube. You'll find it. Okay. Um, my friend Casey Tebow uh, directed the video. He's awesome. He does a lot of stuff with like Motley Crue and Aerosmith and all kinds of oh, cool casuals, rockers. Whatever. Yeah. You know, trying to get a little edgy. Sure. And that's know? amazing. Yeah. Right? So uh, there's that video. And then um, we just put a lyric video for a brand new day, which I sang earlier yeah. for you guys. So. Beautiful songs. Yeah. Cool. So on that happy note, try not to think about Frosty the Pony, <laughs> who I'll be thinking about for the next Aww. two to three weeks. Um, and then I'll get past it. Who's to say? <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Pop This Presents.